Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I like this one. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Hello, friendos. Today is Sunday, the 16th of October and we're at Millet's Farm which is in Abingdon. If you don't know where Abingdon is it's in Oxfordshire in the UK and we are pumpkin picking. I think the last time we came here was a couple years ago so I'm actually buzzing right now. We're gonna go get a wheelbarrow and I'm just gonna take you around and we're gonna vlog it. I'm gonna have a fabulous day James. Do you remember when we came here a couple years ago you found a pumpkin that looks like a bum? I'm really gutted that I never took a picture of it because that would have been amazing. It was literally like two pumpkins stuck together, obviously not like intentionally, but it looked hilarious. And of all the people to have found it, it was going to be you, wouldn't it? Comfy? Yeah, but I need my pumpkins. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my <laughs> Oh, there's a dip. No, 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 not the dip. Not the dip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why we don't have kids, because we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Where are all the pumpkins? I'll push the little bag. No time for drinkos, let's go. <laughs> I like this one. It looks like a skull head. Like the back of the head. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Should I do that one? Yeah, you you can't just have the tiniest little pumpkin in the world. Yeah, make a little skull. You gotta get a big boy pumpkin for your big boy belly. I'm funny. Oh. Yeah, should we just make like a trolley? full of different colours. Ready, orange, white, green, yellow, multicoloured. <laughs> I think that's a pumpkin. Is it not? No. Well, if you don't think that's a pumpkin, The hell? I feel bad for this pumpkin because it's like the ugly duckling of the rest and I feel like it is our duty to save it. <laughs> oh no Kiwi can have a friend -oh. Okay so I think that is probably going to be the end of this pumpkin picking vlog. We have only picked one pumpkin today we didn't come last year, we came the year before and we did pick out two pumpkins, but I think we're just gonna go for the one today. This is the one that we've gone for. Ignore the rubbish. James decided to pick up rubbish that we found as we were going around. So we've kind of become unpaid, volunteered litter pickers. <laughs> we're just gonna pay for the pumpkin now. And then that is gonna be the end of this pumpkin picking vlog. That's a Could have a broomstick. Okay friendos, we have just got back from pumpkin picking and I thought I would quickly chat before we end this vlog because I'm not going to be vlogging anymore. I don't actually know how this turned out because this is the first time I have vlogged and I don't know if this was kind of a smooth vlog or if it just seemed very like wishy-washy, choppy and just all over the place. So we just kind of 
kind of we just got to wing it do you know what i mean like i need to learn as i go it's like doing an apprenticeship although i'm just not getting paid like i've got to learn as i'm practicing do you know what i mean so i just wanted to quickly hop on here and say what we did after the pumpkin picking then what we're going to do now for the rest of the day then do a quick outfit of the day because i didn't show you a ton of things to do at millet's farm you've obviously got the pumpkin picking then there is the season where you do pick your own strawberries pick your own raspberries and the maize maize they've got a farm shop and then a like a ton of farmyard animals donkeys goats you can just look at them like you don't have to pay to do that you can just walk around and then there's the falconry center which you do need to pay for to get in but you can see different kind of birds like owls and stuff and then meerkats you can do a meerkat experience a falconry experience there's also the sprouts barn so i think it might be like a soft play for your kids and then there's obviously an outside playground for your kids as well some things you pay for some things you don't but even the things you do pay for they're not that expensive really so it is a great day out so for the rest of the day we're going to go and have a pub roast dinner with a pudding because i love a pudding and then in the evening we are going to just have like a baguette before we go to bed so maybe like ham and branston pickle that's what i have i love ham and branston pickle and we're going to have some like cheese chunks dipped in chutney which is what we got at the farm shop so i thought we'd show you. james did look at me and go please do not buy every cake that you see like you normally do i was like oh but i love cake they have a machine that's got fresh oranges at the top and it literally makes fresh orange juice gotta love the juice and then we picked up the cheese that we normally get which is the cranberry cheese oh delicious and then cheese and branston pickle which we don't normally get i have tried it i had a little nibble it really does taste like cheddar and branston pickle i mean why ask that's what it says on the tin and then balsamic caramelized onion chutney i usually have this on the garlic bread at prezzo so i'm guessing it's gonna taste just like that and then the french stick which is what we're gonna have this evening before we go to bed let's do the quick outfit of the day and then i can leave you all to your day okay what i wore today was this black bodysuit which is from shein the black belt which is also from shein as you can see it is actually like breaking we'll wait until it's at its last tethers and then buy a new belt because you know wonga and all i don't actually have a job right now this coat is also from shein these are fake pockets they are not real pockets it's actually like really soft really really fluffy and then these black flared jeans i think they're like the jamie top shop jamie flare jeans but in the petite range because i have short legs i'm just under five foot three so am i yeah just under five foot three so they're like a 28 waist 28 leg and then just my normal like white nike air force trainers and then i've also got my pandora ring this i'm born in august so i think this is like my birthstone is the peridot or something um and then my normal j necklace j for james can you see that woo excuse my nails because i do bite them anyway that's the end of this pumpkin picking vlog thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something